Help early. Fourth inning. Brady Anderson sends this shot against the wall. A double off the wall. Scoring two runners. 3-0 Baltimore. McDonald was out of the game and Baltimore comes up with a defensive gem of the day. Jeff Ballard pitching to Willie Randolph. Back to Ballard. One out. To second base. Two outs. To first base. Easy triple play for the Orioles as they defeat Oakland today. 4-1. Elsewhere, KC on top of Chicago, 5-1 of the 8. Texas lost 5-3. Toronto beaten 8-3, and Minnesota leads right now in the ninth inning. The San Francisco Giants recently made their move towards the Cincinnati Reds. The Giants swept the Reds 10 days ago, and at the start of this week, cut the once huge Reds lead to just three and a half games. But San Fran then went out and lost three in a row, trying to stop the bleeding today against Houston. 4-4 tie, sixth inning. That is Greg Litton's double to the gap, scoring Brett Butler and Scott Geraltz. That made it 6-4 San Francisco. Eighth inning now. Will the thrill at the plate. Lines one to center field. Coming in to score is Litton, but a great throw, and Craig Biggio blocks the plate. He is out at the plate, but San Fran wins anyway. 8-4 over Houston. Cincinnati and Los Angeles. Will the Giants make ground? The Reds had a good shot at winning this game, but Lenny Harris had the game of his life. The great stop there for the double play. Then Harris again, this time, goes to his right to make the great stab for another play. Then again, Lenny Harris, this time to his left, to get one half of a double play. And then in the ninth inning, to finish it off, a four for four night for Lenny Harris as the Dodgers beat the Reds 4-2. Chicago won in 15 innings. Montreal has defeated Pittsburgh. The Mets went over the Phillies. And the Braves beat the Padres. Pete Rose, who made famous the number 14, is now wearing 01832061. His new number assigned today is Pete surrendered to a minimum security prison where he'll spend the next five months for tax evasion. The prison resembles a summer camp. Pete will live in an air-conditioned dorm with manicured lawns, with umbrella patio furniture, flower beds, and a wildlife refuge. He'll have access to the tennis and handball courts, as well as the bocce courts. San Francisco 49ers quarterback Joe Montana could become the highest paid player in professional football tomorrow. Team owner Eddie DeBartolo is scheduled to be at the Niners camp, and then it's reported Montana will sign a new four-year contract for $13 million. The number seven may be great at the crap table, but not at the Saints camp in lacrosse. Not Morton Anderson, but the number of Saints holdouts, and that number stayed at seven today. The Saints are working for Saturday's preseason game with the Minnesota Vikings. And head coach Jim Moore would like to see more of the same from Craig Ironhead Hayward, who rushed for 32 yards on seven carries in the opener against Los Angeles. Hayward is battling Buford Jordan for that starting spot, but you won't find any animosity between these two. People put so much, I mean, you know, you hear all this about his weight and he's this and he's that, you know what I mean? Hey, the guy's just human, you know, and when you put that much pressure on him, he needs an escape. I don't really take it as serious as I should. And that's the one thing that I think working out with Buford has helped. You know, being, you know, draft number one doesn't give you that extra edge over anybody else. So it helps as far as working out. Well, let's hope it continues. The first round of the PGA is tomorrow from Shoal Creek Country Club in Birmingham, Alabama. And congrats tonight to Debbie Belay. Today she caught a 218-pound, 8-ounce tarpon out of Venice Marina. That is the largest tarpon ever caught in the, the state by a female. That's amazing. Wow. Bigger than ones pounds. I've got in my pond. I know fish, but that's a big fish. <laughs> that is. is a very big fish. You know what this is? This is the Alpha Award. It is the annual award put out by the fashion group for excellence in fashion. That's also an interior design. And they're having their beautiful uh, black tie event this Saturday night. That's at the Clarion Hotel. Uh, and it really is magnificent, and it really honors a lot of local talent. Also want to remind you, Our Lady of the Isle Festival, it's the Grand Isle Blessing of the Fleet Feet. Say that? Fleet. <laughs> Fleet, not feet. You had Fleet. to ask me? I know. <laughs> oh. Uh, but they're going trouble. to honor their admiral. And they're also going to bless the fleet on Saturday, and they're going to have all kinds of barbecue and fun and bingo on s Friday, Saturday, and Sunday this in is Grand Isle. This is for fashion. What do you awards. think for a pig time? I believe that they wanted you to have yeah, this. Absolutely. Exactly. Dave will tell us about the uh, perfect weather. I think, and his forecast is next. Beautiful weather. It wasn't Beautiful a little cool weather. today, wasn't it? 
It was. The humidity was down. It felt very nice. But when you get up tomorrow morning, especially on the North Shore, it's going to be in the 60s. You know why it was beautiful? Because it's yeah. your birthday. That's right. It Happy is my birthday. birthday. 39 years old. Yep. I feel like I'm 29. In the 70s outside right now, under partly cloudy skies at the International Airport in Kenner, 71, 78 at Audubon Park, 71 in Slidell. The humidity 73%. Lots of 70s there. Winds west at 8. The pressure 30.05 and rising. And the temperatures throughout the area, most of them in the 70s. We do have 80 at WWL here in the French Quarter and a 69 in Macomb. So it's relatively mild for this time of the year at this time of night. Scattered showers in the eastern part of the country. Not much in the western, western part. Looks to me as though we've got pretty good fair skies throughout the region. And tomorrow I don't see much difference. High pressure in the nation's midsection will bring lots of sunshine. And along this front, still stalled in the eastern part of the country, there'll be some scattered showers and thunder showers. But in our area, enough northerly wind to keep it on the dry side should be a very nice day and not too warm with an average around the area of around 89 degrees. Much of the country warm with 80s over, I would say, about 60 or 70 percent of the country. And you know, it is hurricane season. We have the fifth tropical storm already and the fifth Eduardo isn't going to bother us. It's out at the Azores, so we won't show you that. But I do want to remind you that the updated forecast for tropical storms is for about 11 this year, a total of six becoming hurricanes, and two of those are expected to be major storms. That compares to a 104-year average of nine tropical storms and five hurricanes, so an active season is predicted. Here's your overnight forecast. Fair and mild with most of the low temperatures in the 60s, could even see a 58 or 59 well north of the lake. A pleasant night ahead. Sunny and warm tomorrow with the high temperatures 85 to 90 degrees. Not much chance for any showers. Here comes that extended forecast. Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, more of the same. I think maybe it'll warm up a bit, though, with just a few isolated afternoon and evening thunderstorms. And here's the marine forecast. Northerly winds, 6 to 12 knots. Seas 1 to 3 feet, a few isolated thunderstorms, and that's about it. And those will be offshore, not in the coastal sections. Range on the tides, a half a foot. The lake and sea temperature in the mid-80s, 87 in the lake, actually. The river, 4.6. It's falling. Thank you. You're welcome. We're now to the difficult part. This is the part where I announce I'm retiring tonight. Retiring from broadcasting after uh, how many, 18 years here? 18. 15 years for us? That's right. Absolutely. And I'm concerned. When I'm leaving you guys, I'm a little concerned. I'm concerned you're going to find somebody that would have the audacity to wear a pig tie up here. So, in keeping with that thought, I'd like to you to uh, give Jim Henderson, oh, what's his name, a pig tie. I'll do that. Angela, for your husband, Daryl, a duck tie. He will treasure it. Dave, I'm going to give you the elephants. Oh, boy. And for Joe Duke, our uh, news director, I've got donkeys. <laughs> <laughs> You'll notice I said donkeys. I like this. And for Jim, I don't know how many of you ever saw this. This is something professionals in journalism do. I used to hold this behind him while we were on the air and really make a jerk out of both of us. So I'd like you to give that to Jim. In the meantime, I'd, I'd, at times like this, you always go through the things. I want to thank 3,000 people. Well, we've got 180 something people here that without them, I couldn't have ever saved myself from the things I've done up here. <laughs> Forever grateful. For Mike Early Sr., who uh, was kind of like the father I never did really know, thanks for everything. It's been fabulous. And for all of you out there, uh, for a little Cajun from down the bayou that never thought he'd do anything more than run a bait stand, this has been a hell of a run, and I thank you so much. I can barely talk, but for all of those 180, thank you for your excellence. We wish you tremendous success. Jim Bob Moffat ought to know how lucky he is, and if he doesn't, he's going to have some problems from this little Texas gal. We know you're going to do well. You will be terribly missed. We will use the ties, but we'll keep that chair empty, and it is always waiting for you. I appreciate that. As a footnote, what I will be doing, because of my concern for the environment, I've received a, a very nice offer from Freeport Mac Moran, one of the Fortune 500 companies, one of the largest in Louisiana, who is going to make a concerted effort to show people that they're involved with the environment and concerned about it. Hope I can play a small part in that. Well, I, I was going to say, I think that uh, your retirement is a, uh, a loss to broadcasting, frankly. It is a gain for business and along the lines of the environment and, and your love for the environment. Fingers That's right. Crossed. And it is a personal loss of a very different. It's been a hell of a 15-year run. Yep. Good night. <laughs>